Florence steps to the plate and he doesn't miss. Greenwood's hands tonight have been so impressive and that's a neat kick. And Hoskin Elliott, he kicked late goals last week, didn't he? I think three in the last quarter. Collingwood fan growing up this man. What a moment this would be. It's not a bad kick. Oh, it's a goal. Oh, can they roll the die one more time? Can they get a quick score here? Hanabry, back to Fox. Fox in a hurry, there are a chance here. Frank Lern, yes, he's got to go quickly. Over the top, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. How big is this now? trelaw has been outstanding. Parker, Collingwood are going to win. Collingwood are going to win. They have. They've come to Sydney and flattened the Swans. Now on this ball because Wimberlick was lurking, realised he had to come back. Melchon with a ripping kick around the body. Jakey Melchon, what a goal! Better build up Collingwood. We've got something going now. Elliot yes. kicks to the pocket. Can they get on the end of it? Cloak yes. trying to search for it. White's quick. He should kick a goal at long last. The valve has been really on. Well done, Pendlebury. Really building here, Pendlebury. Good kick to fall forward. He's got Swanee, and Swanee's got a goal. And Collingwood, centimetre by centimetre, eggs their way back. It's had a really good year so far. Wasn't that a clever tap from Carlisle? The double hand of flicker out the side door. Sets up Heppel. Handball under pressure. Collingwood everywhere. They're all over him at the moment. Merritt went. That was Jackson. And Collingwood come with a footy. His young through the middle. Have a shot. Opportunity Blair was in there. Fletcher did well with the clearing kick. Three on two here. And Grundy Marks gives it to Elliot. Elliot launches from 50. High footy won't get the journey. Hurley flies. But I think it's a Collingwood mark to side bottom. It is. Hurley complains, but side bottom has taken a beauty. Runs, plays on. Collingwood have kicked three in a row to dig themselves out of a deep hole. Quarter, McCaffer, the tagger. Just short of where it needs to be, Blair. Quick hands, Pendlebury. Got notes from all over him. Gold sack on the side bottom. Got a couple. Side bottom in a row. Got a little hands on it. Cloak. Just pulled the kick, not once, not twice, but three times. And then in the end, a pass to smother hooker. Gee, he put his mate under pressure. Aspie, here is Goldsack, left foot snap. This is unbelievable. My young Merritt. Blair kicks to full forward. Big fly at the back. Beams waiting with Hibbard. Side bottom's already kicked a couple. Can't quite get a handle. Back to Beams. Back to full forward. Again, a bouncing ball. Cloak lumbering a little. Strong. He's got three. Side, he's got three. Scores. A level. Grundy the game of footy. Grundy's been important. He's really physically imposed himself. Thomas off a step. Hooker got a bad bounce. Swan. Chance here. He can run this Swanee. He's going to watch. He's back and take them on. Gets to the pocket. Oh, and God. yes, he does. Swan, Pendlebury, Swan, bursting through Swanee. He's kicked his third. He's go with the body. This way and that away for Elliot. The same with the little man, Blair. Gets it back to Elliot. He can line up here, Elliot. It's a drawing goal. Elliot's kicked a beauty. How it can go. I don't think Frost has got much left. Inside the car. Tackle from Tuvi. Ball well done. Terrific tackle coming from Stan. Swan has got four. His wits. Driving footy. Grundy. Give some thought to an Anzac Day medalist, uh, Lingy and Lee and Tim. I'd be interested in your thoughts. Here is Grundy from 50 G out. Oh. He shredded the needle so superbly. That is a monster kick from Grundy. 91,731 have come today to see Collingwood win by 23 points. Got him down. Watson tries to dig it out of the pack. Wanting it at close quarters. Mallet was upended. It comes to Ryder. Ryder the high ball. How will it bounce? The wrong way. Well, the right way as it turned out for the Bombers. Carlisle, Stanton. Stanton, the unlikeliest of heroes today. Out wide, Collingwood with the numbers. Pendlebury's good at picking his way through.
through things. Left foot, and Essendon couldn't quite get to it. Sinclair's been bubbly late, hasn't he? How far does he go in with the kick to full forward? Cloak, not quite. Blair, Collingwood, back in front. Well, it's 20 seconds, and the man of the match, the Anzac Meglis, has the last say. And the runners will be out there making sure Swan knows it's the countdown from 20 seconds. 42nd possession for Swan, but it was long down the line. The champion of the day will have the final say as he kicks the ball down the line. What a game. What a win. Closest margin ever, but... McCaffer, no time to waste, gave it to Sinclair, Sinclair to Adams, he's confronted, gets it inside the forward 50, holding down the ground, how will they call it, the dangerous for Solo is getting the free kick against Brantz, he's kicked five. Collingwood, the 12th goal back ends and he puts it through, it's been a for Solo effort of sorts. So five points at half time, five points at three quarter time, five points now for Solo, five goals after half time, six for the match. Collingwood with a real chance. Greenwood out of the centre. For Solo again. Oh. Did he get a crack at it? And well done, they doubled up a sailing from here. Williams. Grundy. Trelaw. Arches his back. Goes for goal. Penderbury had a look. For Solo's kick six, he's held on to. No free kick. Ooh. Lost on away. Is that deliberate? It is. One last roll of the dice. He can run around. Remember, he's got 10 metres, Bruce. He can run around a fair way. Sets it up. One mark. Hasn't happened. Still a chance. Is it a goal? It is. The pies are in front. Was it Grundy? It's Grundy. Please chase the old boys. <laughs> High ball, top of the square. Potsy Adley. Got it. Which from memory is what Hawthorne did to them a few weeks ago. Pods gets it. And a lead now of 13 points. Harry O'Brien. They wanted the footy in his hands. He kicks long. Cloaks down there. Got to beat a couple. Has anyone touched this? Has anyone touched this? Cracker to keep it alive. He does. Could have gone back to side bottom, but he got caught. Oh, and he's got a free. Fun, fun. He plays on. Didn't go behind the mark. Crackers kicked the goal. I'm not sure he went behind the mark. It's Elliot. He marks. Plays on from near the boundary line. Sees Cracker and gets him. Now they yeah. have to watch Cracker here. I'm thinking Banana does. He's setting up for that. Here's Cracker. He's got it. Collingwood are back in front by seven points. Free kick will go to Long's way here. But time is going to beat them. Collingwood have won. Collingwood have beaten Geelong. The undefeated team in the comp. And have come from 13 down at three-quarter time. Pendlebury kicks inside. 50. Full range, Travis Clyde. Travis Clyde. And Tom Lonigan and James Potsy Adley, the two out there for the Cats tonight that haven't played in a premiership. Lonigan did play in the 08 final as a forward. He's played well. He's kicked a couple of first half goals. There you go. He's got three for the night. He's going to be feeling good next week. Yeah, it proves, Dennis, that footy's about habits. They, mm. they do it habitually, yes. regardless of the state of the game. And Scarlett turns it over in the end, and then Dynak wants it back, and he gets it back. He'd love a late goal, but he does the team thing, kicks to the top of the goal square, and side bottom, well, he puts some cream on the most beautiful cake imaginable for back the park. Carried it to Geelong. They're there. They're into another grand final of the pies. Does his best. Maxwell, the skipper. They're going to have a shot at it. Oh! It's a hard free kick to Collingwood. Oh! Back this way. Arm held. Jack Anthony. He goes for no, no, no. Oh, the 
the best kick in the comp wow. return. One of the best kicks in the comp. Oh. There is Ben. Time back on. Fight corridor, please. Where was the free? Yeah, Rutten held him. It was a great call, I reckon. Hope in his heart. Dreams in his head. Jack Anthony. He's done it! Forget all those goals he's ever kicked before. He trained them all for that one. Huge numbers around the ball. Taken by Dangerfield. Handball smothered. Goodwin against O'Brien. O'Brien lost his footing. Picked up by Dangerfield. and heartbreak for the Adelaide Crows. What a game of football. Birchall gets the hand pass to Suckling. Suckling, he, such a good kick, normally uses the ball well again. Schellenmakers gets it from Mitchell. Probing kick inside the forward 50. Here comes Bunny. Wheels around. Gathers the football. Oh, 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 he's, oh, kicked oh, oh. he's kicked the miracle. <laughs> he's put it through. With the outside of the boot, running to the wrong pocket. <laughs> From back in front. Burgoyne, been really good. Building forward. Hodge. Bateman. Caught up. Gee, looked high. Oh, just had to kick it. He's made a few errors on that centre wing through fatigue in the last quarter. Pike's been oh. very, very good. Bangs it high. Doors. <laughs> no free kick. Doors again. Was it in the back? Hawthorne haven't got it out yet. Oh. Suckling off the ground. Cloak's got it. Two kicks from goal. Next goal wins, you'd reckon. Cloak bangs it. Shallow oh, makes it. Drops it. Dawes gets it back. Still in dispute. That ball not coming out. And oh, so cool earlier. The stakes so high. Ball throws it on the boots. Adelaide swung before him. He's kicked a magnificent goal out of that pocket. Tony, this, yeah, they've still got the two back. They can't uh, allow that Hawthorne. Hale's been good. Hodge rising to the occasion. Swan, what a game. Kicks the ball out wide. Cloak gets the better of Gibson. Wheels around. Belts it forward. Knows that a score's important. It's rolling. Oh. Got to go now. Just go, go. Let's see if they can find it and get it going, which they have. So can Hawthorne roll the dice? Stratton under pressure. It affects the kick and bounces out of bounds. The result for them. Just over two minutes to go. Two minutes and 20 seconds to the grand final. Both these guys know how that feels. Hale and Brown, over the top, Hodge, spills wide, suckling under pressure, chopped off by Swan, well almost, Rioli had him then lost him, Swan did brilliantly, the strength we were talking about earlier, how's that for commitment, from all points of the compass, Lewis grabbed it, gave it to Burgoyne, here come Hawthorne, getting back there is sure, they need the boundary, the Hawks, and they get it, that a throw in under two minutes. That desperation in the middle of the ground. Lewis was unbelievable. Oh, yeah, yeah, that couple of efforts. He's been their best tonight. So one last chance, you reckon. Third man up, Saul. Couldn't quite. Burgoyne, quick kick forward. Oh. Within 20 metres. Pelopolo, where's Franklin? He's close. Pelopolo can't get away from Tuvi. Oh! Gee whiz. It's when you get up off your feet like that. Now they've got to try and hammer it in Hawthorne. Don't really, uh, cover the releases. Make them kick it long down the line. So Tuvi, Cloak, Stratton. Side bottom in the right spot. Can't Awkward bounce. Pendleburg. Good kick. Does he Gibson got the toe. Brown will want the... No, he doesn't want the boundary. He just get it now. That's a big play. Lee Brown tonight. That was outstanding. Boundary throw in. Inside the 50 then. What a finish. Collingwood by three points. The clock the enemy of the Hawks now. Every contested situation. Collingwood get clean ball. Davis across the side bottom. Kicks inside the forward 50. All Hawks around it. 
They've got to build from the back. Murphy does four. Oh, hasn't quite been sensational. This final turn from Travis Clark, quite outstanding. Inside the last minute. Michael Malthouse still could be coaching his last game. Who knows? At least for the Magpies. Swan has other ideas. Lewis, brilliant. Rioli's got the footy. Rioli run down from behind, holding the ball. And Collingwood, I think, from here, can run down the clock. Oh, he just had no one called Rioli, so he had to try and hold on. We'll wait to see if someone released, but... That's what Thomas does so well, the chase down tackle from behind. Remember his tackle on White Cross earlier in this match where he created a goal at the other end. So Collingwood, who haven't defended a premiership for 75 years. It's been 75 years since they won a flag and then went into the grand final the next year. 16 contested possessions for Dale Thomas out of his 29 tackles. It's the best match of 2011 so far, and Collingwood win. Oh. again that mark down the line contested seven marks now and that that just sets the game up and he played on quickly got the ball in and that go against the goal and they have made the change now you asked for bruce first year player cox 20, is out 20 year old cox again oh he's done it again it is rewriting football history here undersized and there you go duck there you go to Pendlebury and then with a high ball where's to go there he is against Grimes Grimes work him under Asprey Myerchik oh can you believe it run time off the clock I think they're just looking to get back in rhythm and in control Cox again oh. I mean it has been a colossus tonight he's the best man on the ground yeah, for me. Careful kick down that line to Marcek and Grundy in the boundary throw. The difference. Richmond haven't taken those marks 65, 70 out down the line. They're worth so much to a team, and he's done that. Pendlebury belting forward to Goey, to Goey, still to Goey. Little squeeze. Talor might, might, might. Does he? Oh, he does. He gets what they needed. The game to Phillips. Phillips wrong foot on the right. Here's to Goey. Big crash, big commitment from Broad in the air to help out Grimes. He was against the flow. Grimes and Dugowie, that matchup from what, about halfway through the third quarter, I guess. And it, and it worked for Richmond because Rance started getting it's going high, so he can run, jump and launch. Still right in the balance here at the moment. Grundy can get it out of the balance. 33 points. Two years ago, he kicked a goal, the last kick of the match against Richmond at that end. This is even, that one, but this is bigger. This is even bigger. What a tag team combination of Grundy and Cox. The big men have dominated. But elite, but we probably weren't used to it. We are now, aren't we? We know that he is. Oh, I cannot believe it. Kicking tonight, Dusty. Handballing a lot more than he's kicking. Graham's run down. Who Bruce said had been superb. It has taken a remarkable midfield performance, a great Ruckman, and a colossus up forward. And Greenwood hasn't quite got the length. A big fly in the front there by Hoskin Elliott, Hooley, Varco, Thomas across the face. He's taken the mark side bottom. Has he? No. Hit the ground. 
duck, you looked at me quizzically. I reckon they're favourite, whatever happens tomorrow. <laughs> Even if Melbourne or West Coast win as convincing as this, Bruce? Beating Richmond. They're not beating the Tigers gets, at yeah. the MCG. Oh, whatever it's going to happen, it's going to be good. It's going to be magnificent, Bruce. <laughs> Little one there from Higgins. What about the contested marking? Let's see if Greenwood can create another opportunity here. In his favourites, whoever they play. They have been extraordinary. Hoskin Elliott, linking handball, side bottom, deliberately wide to Stevenson, who hasn't kicked one today. The Peter Murphy-led review. Buckley retained his job. And incredible what can happen. Incredible. Collingwood are going to the big dance. But he sits right alongside those guys now. Well, I didn't think we'd be saying at the start of the season that Collingwood would be the first team in to the 2018 Grand Final. But that's what we're about to say. They've met their match. Oh, it's been amazing, Bruce. Absolutely amazing. The crowd enormous again. And Collingwood will go in to the 2018 Grand Final, a famous victory on the back of this man here. The Collingwood win by their greatest ever margin in a Grand Final. It doesn't get better than that.